All right, the city going green. Little wind turbines like these are helping cut energy bills at buildings in Brooklyn and Queens. Environmentalists have long said that wind power could cut our country's dependence on fossil fuels. Mm, but is it a realistic option at a place as crowded as NYC? Dan Bowens takes a look. It is a real twist on the Queen's skyline. They do generate power, so they're they're not they don't they don't just look pretty. They actually have a function. And they are also a unique sight above this grocery store parking lot in Brooklyn. I actually thought that they were sculptures of some sort. Not sculptures. To me, they seem like toys. Definitely not toys. Wind turbines converting kinetic energy from the wind into electrical power. It's very evident when when you pull in that that there's something going on that's a little different here. A different approach to energy efficiency surging in New York City. At the Pearson Court Square in Long Island City, three of the sleek looking devices are perched on the roof. Josue Sanchez is a project manager here. The turbines really offset the amenity, uh, uh, the, the electric use in some of the common areas like the amenity spaces in the building. Wind in New York City doesn't just blow north or south. Like most urban areas, it swirls all over the place. So engineers couldn't use the typical propeller style wind turbine. Instead, they have to use this vertical axis turbine to harness every gust of wind. It's quieter and safer for wildlife. These turbines will start producing power typically as low as 10 mile per hour wind speed. Jan Gramitsky is an engineer with UGE. The company installed the turbines at Pearson and at this Whole Foods in Gowanus, Brooklyn. He says several projects, including residential, commercial, and government buildings, are coming next. They are making a comeback uh, due to the uh, increase in the technology. Now they're completely silent. Um, they're more efficient. Tax credits often entice developers to invest, though there's still plenty of debate about how efficient these devices really are. At the Whole Foods, turbines coupled with solar panels produce 30 percent of the power here, including enough for each of the street lamps, this electric car charging station, and if there's a major power outage in the area, these never stop turning. It allows us to be operational, allows us to become operational quicker, and get back up and running quicker. Quickly spinning out some new options for the future of New York. Dan Bowens, Fox 5 News.